Hoy me vine a un templo budista a comer cocina auténtica tailandesa. Me voy a encontrar con mi amigo David, que es un experto de esta cocina. Va a ser mi guía turístico y me dijo que me trajera una botella de agua porque todo es sumamente picante. Así que vamos a ver cómo nos va. So what's up with the food here? Oh my god, this is like the highest concentration of Thai community in Dallas. They come together once a week and they really represent different areas and regions of the food. So everything is pure and authentic in the cooked in traditional ways with lots of love and care. And it's almost, it's a temple, there's a, a bunch of things that resemble the culture in general, right? Right. Temple here, there's you'll see monks. It's not uncommon common to see monks walking around. This is the real deal here wow. in Dallas, Texas. So, what are we gonna try? All right, so let's take a look. This is a, uh, a green peppercorn fish curry, very similar to this one. The fish is rubbed in a curry paste and it's allowed to sit for quite a while. And then they, this one is fried, and then this one is very low cooked temperature wise for a long period of time. This is a, a noodle salad called okay. Nam Mung Sen. Uh, jungle curry with uh, Thai pumpkin, which is called Phak Tong. And here is a sambu sour bamboo curry. So I think what we're going to do just to kind of have some fun is get a little bit of everything and hang out and eat. Sounds good. This is a very traditional Thai dish. It's called uh, Khao Man Gai. And it's chicken and rice. Sounds fun. I love it. You cook everything? Yeah, we, we, we have a photo help. Oh, how nice. <laughs> nice. This, so what's so special about uh, about the food here? I think it's, we make it like more Thai. Yeah. What, what, you, what part of Thailand? This one is Southern part. This one maybe it, it's around Bangkok, they eat this thing. This one do we call it Gang Thai Pa, like South, like the country style. What's in this? Yeah, we have to grill fish. Grill right. fish? Uh -huh. Wow. Are, are you the... Is it spicy? Very? I love spicy. You want to try a little bit? Yeah, I love, love spicy. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that nice? That's amazing. But man. it's not just spicy. You get you pick up all the depth of flavor, the little bit bitterness from the eggplant, and the sweetness from the uh, I love Thai it. pumpkin. I mean, it's really an interesting contrast. And then flavor. the the it's so perfumey. The food has such amazing aromas. It's crazy. Yeah, they need a lot of herb in there. Yes, I see that. I mean, so let's do a mix, right? Yeah, let's do a mix. We take the sour bamboo curry, please. You mean put in the one box and. Uh, let's, let's yeah, a let's do a bit. couple mix, two mix box. Maybe you want over rice, I can do it, but if in the box, I don't want to mess up the taste. So, what's this that we're making over here? Papaya salad. Papaya salad. Traditional style. Yes. Not the American no, thing. No, no, no. So what's different about this one? This one, we have everything. 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 How about that? My dad. I Do that. Where I work over there, they have a different kind. Okay. But they, they, they put bell pepper, yellow pepper. You don't put any of Cilantro. That. No, 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 no. Okay. This is this traditional. This is American style. Yes. I love it. What do you think so far? I mean, as we're sitting here enjoying all these different flavors, and I'm totally surprised because everything is so authentic and different from what you eat at regular Thai places. You know, the spice level is quite remarkable. Everything is like extremely spicy. It's like pleasantly uh, painful. You know, but you keep going back for more. Yeah, right? it's like it's super spicy, but you want more. And everything tastes so differently. So there's such pungent flavors, so much strength to everything. When eating all these different flavors, 
Like this one is, is a little more of a stimulant with the heat, but yeah. then the palm sugar kicks in. And this one has got the sour element. And so it's so, it's, Thai food is so diverse. And it was interesting to hear, you know, the ladies talking about the different areas of where each dish is coming from. Right, and of course the rice is just perfect with sauces and the contrast between like spicy, sweet, sour. Can you we talk about the, the rice a little bit and and the dessert? What's this? Hi. Sticky rice, they wrap banana inside. Oh, wow. so it's like a dessert. Dessert, yeah. Oh my God. And tell me the flavor from the banana. From uh, coconut milk. Oh, so good, isn't it? And yeah, it's steamed it's inside, good. right? A little bit salty and a little bit sweet. It's combination is good. Aroy mak. Aloy mak. And black bean. <laughs> black bean inside too. Oh, black bean? Oh, this? Uh -huh. Ooh, yum. So that's uh -huh. traditional dessert in Thailand. Uh -huh. Very is traditional. It? Really? Wow. It is kind of odd to buy ice cream this time of the year when it's freaking 50 degrees. I'm freezing now, but I think it's worth the try, right? Oh, wow. Good. Amazing. Very natural. Mm. <laughs> They're really nice, you know, refreshing. And of course, normally here in Texas, you know, we... Should be hotter. Maybe two, two more. Two more. Should be hotter, but... Whoa. After all that good spicy you, food. What you want to try to ice cream? Shave ice? Uh -huh. uh, I think I'll freeze if I, I do. <laughs> I think we're good next time. Okay. Thank okay. you. Y había que terminar con una banana frita al estilo tailandés, helado de coco, maní o cacahuates. Y como decimos aquí, para adentro.